Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of, of our Road to Ranked Roulette series. We kicked off this brand new series at the start of the week and it has been so much fun so far. We, this is the team that we've ended up with. We've used all of our bonus buttons over the last couple of episodes. We had Houndoom in there, we had Shuckle in there and we had mm, Chandelure in there. And we've replaced them, we've used our Legend Maker button, bring in Palkia. We've used our Switcher button which brought in the Arcanine and we've used our Randomizer which has brought in Malamar so we had really good uh, episode yesterday we had a really good victory to kick us off with if you'd like to go back check those out I'll put a card up there for you before coming into the episode but this is going to be the penultimate one with this team uh, before we choose our new roulette team Monday next week so as I mentioned in previous episodes we have over on the community section of the channel if you go over there there will be a post over there asking you to nominate a Pokemon for next week's roulette wheel so go over there and nominate a Pokemon it could be any Pokemon as well it can be anything from Caterpie anything right through to Mewtwo X or just any Pokemon your favorite Pokemon it can be your favorite Pokemon a Pokemon that you want to see competitively paid and just nominate and we will throw it into the wheel and hopefully it does come out and we can have that randomized team for next week so we are sitting on a record of three wins four losses at the minute <clears throat> Which isn't great, but I feel confident, like I said in the last episode, that we will finish positive. And that is the the the, uh, the goal for this. So without further ado, let's get into this first one. Today I'm going to just change screens so we can see our bottom screen as well. See what our rating is currently. And finishing over 1500 is the, is a is a good goal. But we want to see if we can improve on this. This is the first week doing with this. It's a 1490, man. <laughs> so bad. So bad. Uh, let's start with Elite Four. Let's go back to some old favorite music of ours. And uh, team, as always, is down in the description below. As always, if you do enjoy this content, please remember to drop a like on the video. Do subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon content. And do leave your comments down below as well because I love hearing your thoughts on the series in general, on the team, on the roulette, on anything. So uh, make sure to get the nominations on that post in the community section though. But if you want to leave them down below, I will grab them and throw them in. So... Hopefully it doesn't take too long to find a first opponent today. As always, if it does take a little bit longer than usual, I will just cut this and we'll come straight back to when we find that first opponent of the episode. And we've got our first opponent of the episode. It's not Geo. So is it Geo? Is it Giovanni Costa or is it not? Who knows? But we'll hop straight over into team preview and we'll find out what they're going to be running today. Okay, so our first opponent today is running a team of Gengar, which could be potentially the Mega of the team. It's likely to be the Mega of the team. Then you've got Alol and Marowak, not something you see so commonly on these in this format in general. So then we've got Kyogre, Primal Kyogre probably. Then we've got Bruxish, which has that dazzling ability to prevent any uh, priority attacks. But fortunately for us, we don't have any priority on our team. Then you've got the Duskman, the Krosma, and the Alolan Persian. Uh, the Alolan Persian is going to provide fake out support to help set things up like the Speed Control, which is probably coming from the Duskman Necrozma. If it's not Ultra Necrozma, it could be quite a slow team here, kind of indicated from the Marowak. And then the Gengar as well. Potentially could have Icy Wind or something like Parish Song. So, right, what are we going to do? Um, hmm. Could Malmar be decent here? I feel like Malmar could be decent here. Let's bring Malmar up front. Um, the knockoff could be very good. Uh, Superpower going to be very good. Um, what are we going to lead with it? Do we bring Superior? We've not brought Superior for ages. Although it's not really doing too much here. Um, Arcanine. I'm going to bring Palkia. I'm going to bring Arcanine. And I'm going to bring Mantine as well. There's an argument for Sogaleo here, but I feel like hmm, it's kind of threatened pretty hard from the Marowak, especially if the Trick Room goes up. The Persian puts a lot of pressure on with foul play, especially if we get the Z Splash off. And we're kind of lacking a little bit of speed control. So let's see if we've got... And it is a good mate, a <laughs> good friend, Giovanni Costa. He has just uh, just tweet me now saying, uh, and I thought my team was crazy. So <clears throat> I'm just gonna send him a quick message just to say, uh, 
yeah, nice team. Good luck, have fun, my friend. So we're gonna see the Marowak, the Bruxish come out. Um, right. <laughs> Malmar not in a bad spot here. And uh, now we could get rid of, uh, what's the Bruxish gonna do? Does it, uh, I'm just gonna go knock off into that slot, uh, for sure. Um, and I'm gonna go, do we go Earth Power into the Marowak? Let's just do it. Let's just be straight up with attacks. We've not really got too many options. What is this Marowak doing? It's Titan and it's Volkish after... Oh! <laughs> it's got Volk... It's like Volkish Punch. What is this? Wow, we actually take it. So that works out all right. Man, after you. That is crazy. The memes are for real there. I've got to take your hat off to Geo for pulling out this sort of stuff. This is <laughs> legit, legit means. Can we get the Bruxish? Oh, we miss out. <laughs> but we do we do get rid of that choice scarf, which is good. Uh, okay, we've got to protect Marmar because we'll go down to another one of those. Uh, we'll just go for another Earth Power into the Marowak. It might protect here or switch out, maybe. But we still have to be careful with this after you. Uh, after you brox it. But we do get rid of the choice scoff, which makes it a little bit easier to deal with going forward. Um, <clears throat> Focus punch, what a great attack. Doing so much damage as well. It's kind of neutral to, to Malmar, but Marowak, um, Ma Marowak's just a cool Pokemon, isn't it? There's a protect from the Marowak, for sure. Yeah, makes sense. Watch this Broxish gonna do Psychic Fangs into uh, Palkia. Doing decent damage, you know, like, Nothing to be scoffed at. Um, hmm. <sighs> Do we need Malamar for the rest of the game? Probably. It's probably going to be quite useful to, to keep around and have. Uh, I'm going to bring in Arcanine. And I'm just going to go for that Earth Power again. Or do we go Trick Room at this point? Do we go Trick Room? Um... Trick Room could be kind of good, but we might be able to get away with a Trick Room maybe a few turns down the line. Maybe. I don't know. But we'll bring an Arcanine. We'll get the Intimidate off into this Marowak, which will help us out hugely. And the nice thing about Arcanine as well is... Um, okay, we're going to see another after you. Yeah. Or is it going to be a Palkia this time? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, makes a lot more sense. But the Intimidate helping us out there a bunch. So we'll just get our berry activated. We'll get the Marowak now with the, the Earth Power. Um, I think the thing that we're missing on the roulette is the memes. But hopefully next week, with our new roulette selection, we'll be able to get the memes going. Um, with a new set of Pokemon. Random Pokemon. Right, <clears throat> the Bruxish. I think... I kind of, oh, I want to say that Arcanine will outspeed it. Um, what's this Kyogre going to do though? It's not really threatening our... I want to say that the, the Arcanine will probably outspeed the Kyogre as well. But, off the top of my head I don't know. Brox is just base speed. I'm going to be a little bit... I'm going to play it a little bit safer. I'm just going to go for a Earth Power into the Bruxish here. It definitely outspeeds Palkia. So we'll, we'll just protect Arcanine for now. Yeah, there's... You see the after you. And imagine it outspeeds... Yeah, there's a Water Spout. So Palkia taking this like a champ. Uh, the Water Dragon typing. It's good. So get rid of this Bruxish. Get rid of this pesky after you strategy. Which is so good though. Okay, and now now they're down Geo down to two Pokemon. Likely both these restricted though. I wonder what a life orb wild charge will do. Um And do we outspeed the Kyogre? It's like we should outspeed the Kyogre with Arcanine. Um, I'm just going to double up into the Kyogre. The problem will be here is if we see Protect Kyogre and Trick Room <laughs> on Duskmane, which we're probably going to see right now. Ah, no. Okay, let's see. Double the Kyogre. Fell straight into that one. 
There it is. Ah, uh, okay. Hmm. Right. Uh, let's get Arcanine out of here. Let's bring in Mantine. Um, and let's just protect Palkia for a turn. So I imagine we're probably seeing the Cosma go for that. Um, Photon Geyser. If it's not Ultra Necrozma, which doesn't seem like it's gonna be. Um, yeah, Photon Geyser into the park here. We're gonna see Water Spout. Um, yeah. I'd imagine the Kyogre probably has. The Kyogre probably has Thunder. Let's see. Let's see the team make it. Well, maybe not, because then it does conflict with the Marowak a little bit, but. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. Let's Scald and Earth Power. The Necrozma. Let's see if we can get a couple of attacks off. I mean, the Earth Power into the Necrozma would be pretty big here. Scald's not going to really do very much. Um, Mantine's pretty safe here. I think he concentrate down more on the park here with the Photon Geyser here. Um, unless the Kyogre does have Thunder. Oh, we don't take it. Wow. That's brutal. Scald. At least we underspeed the Kyogre, which is good. I mean, if we can get a burn here, that's huge. Burn! No! Ah. And it does have thunder. Changes things. Hmm. Changes quite a bit. Alright. But it, we do have Malmar in the back. We do have Malmar. So we can bring Malmar in. Pretty safely here. We can knock off that Necrozma. We can, we can wide guard. Because how many turns of Trick Room you got left? Two. So this is this kind of will work out pretty perfectly. So a wide guard will go for that knockoff. I don't know if the knockoff will get the Necrozma though. That's the only problem. But I think Kyogre probably feels safe going for a Water Spout here. Sun Steel Strike. Is this into the Malamar? Yeah, it will be. Hopefully this doesn't take us down. This is where the Intimidate would be very useful. Ugh. Oh. God damn! Ah, we're done for now. I think. Um, yeah, because we can't we can't deal with the, the necrozma, and then the, the trick room just gets set up once again. Yeah. Let's see. Good game, my friend. Love the team. Ah. Uh, I'm just doing. Uh, mm. The Necrozma is hitting us too hard. I think like the thing that we needed to do is get an Intimidate onto it, which gives us a little bit more leeway. But like, I just forget how hard uh, Duskman Necrozma can actually hit. I mean, we can protect here. There's not really much we can do. We can't flare blitz the Necrozma, which is the sad thing with the rain up. Uh, so we can't really get rid of it that way. Uh, Photon Geyser, Water Spout come out and then it's so easy for for Gia just to protect the Kyogre this next turn and and then just trick room once again uh, I mean close combat is not going to be enough to get the Necrozma flare blitz fizzes out um, I mean we can go for a wild charge into the Kyogre if he doesn't protect it then we probably get it um, but yeah, I mean, it's just the, the, the super safest play here to make. Oh, it's so sad. It takes a losing streak down to five. So three wins, five losses. I mean, ugh, yeah, trick room. And I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to carry on. Good game, Geo. Great team. Nice strategy. Good memes. All good. Um, but yeah, just not, not. Not got the uh, not what we need in the tank, unfortunately, which is which is pretty sad. Duskman Necrozma hitting like a truck. I would have expected Malmar to take a Sunsteel Strike from that range, but I mean we are more specially defensive. Never mind, never mind. All we can do is move on. We're gonna have a brand new roulette team Monday anyway, so it's fine. I'm not gonna get too sad about it. I'm not gonna get too sad. I'm sad about our rating. I'm sad about our win record as well at the minute. Like, I at least thought we'd finish positive. We've got Jack from the United States up next, so let's hop straight into team preview. 
See what Jack's brought. He's brought the Rayquaza, the Kyogre, Crowback, Bravery, uh, the Ferrothorn, and Tapu Koko. So kind of standard looking Rayogre team apart from the Bravery, which is a nice option to kind of stop the Intimidate support from um, our side to new to things like that Rayquaza, which really does get hurt by it quite a lot. Um, but I think... I think Arcanine is still good to bring here because we will outspeed it and we will be able to nuke it with a wild charge as well. Um, I think Mantine's generally quite good here, but um, the problem with Mantine is it is threatened by the Tapu Koko if it has got the Z move, but other than that, we're not too bad. Uh, we can match the Crobat's Tailwind as well. Um, do we bring Sogaleo here? Yeah, I think we do, and I think we bring Palkia as well and bench bench the other boys. The Superior, to be honest, is definitely one of those Pokemon we could have probably sacked off. We've not really used it since like the first couple of episodes this week. So could it's definitely a Pokemon that we could have said, oh, we could switch out. Maybe bring something else in. But never mind, it's all alright. It's all alright, so... See if we can claw a win to finish up this week. I feel like the team deserves it, so... Jack sending out the uh, the Bravery and the Rayquaza. Uh, we are going to get the Intimidate onto both targets, which is nice, so that's it's always good. Uh, we will activate that Defiant ability on the Braviary. Um, bird up, my friends. But we've got one bird of our own in Mantine. Uh, we'll go for the Wild Charge into that slot and we'll go for a mm, Tailwind, Icy Wind. I'll go for an Icy Wind just because the Rayquaza could be Sashed and breaking the Sash is going to be quite useful for us. Even if it does Mega Evolve, it's not going to be hitting very hard, but just breaking the Sash and lowering that speed's a good thing for us. And definitely after an Intimidate, we'll take uh, a Dragon Ascent from the Rayquaza. So whether or not, uh, hmm, I don't know, I don't know, like I worry about Earth Power into Arcanine for sure, but we should take at least an Earth Power from, from Rayquaza. Problem is though, the bravery is now protected by, um, the Strong Winds, which I do forget about, and we do like nothing and take massive recoil damage and how can I not in a great place now we are going to see a Z move what is it going to be just supersonic sky strike Brave bird yeah it's probably going to be into man time 100% I think we lost this already man time no ah oh, yeah no way we take a plus one from Ah, yeah, that's not good. That's not good at all. Um, Sogaleo isn't a bad option. But we're like, I mean, we're just Earthquake. Yeah, we're just Earthquake for that. I mean, could a close combat, would a close combat do more to bravery? It probably would. Um... And then an Earth Power. We're probably better off switching into Palkia. And, and then banking on the Ray going for an Earth Power into the Sogaleo. And the Bravery going for maybe a Tailwind. Or just attacking into the Arcanine. Crunch. Okay, yeah. That's what we want to see. Close combat. We've got to hope this takes it down. It does! Okay, we get rid of the bird. Still not over though, by a long way, because we've got to deal with that crunch. Although it is minus one, the Rayquaza, so it's not too bad. Now, if we can get a Trick Room up, things are looking a little bit brighter for us, but we're so far behind right now, it's not ideal. But I've been in worse positions before with Pokemon, Biles, and we still come back, so we can't give up. Um... <clears throat> Depends what my opponent brings out. It's going to be the Kyogre. Okay. I mean, we can get, we can definitely get a trick with him up. Mm. It's 
just I don't think we're going to be able to get. Um, hmm. I don't think we'll get as a splash off. That's the, the only thing. Um, so we could wide guard. But does the Kyogre water spout or origin pulse? Probably. And we could spatial rend into the Rayquaza. Or we could just trick room. Depends on what my opponent's got really in the back. Do they have Ferrothorn? Hmm. Probably. Or Tapu Koko. I'd imagine maybe Tapu Koko. I'll bank on it being Tapu Koko, although you kind of more likely lead with it. But I'll go I'm going to trick room with Palkia. And I'm going to wide guard. I'm going to hope that the Kyogre is faster than our Palkia as well. There's the Earth Power. Okay. Wow. Oh. The Crit Earth Power. I don't think we take that combination anyway, but the Crit just kind of rubs salt into the wound a little bit. Right. Okay. So Spatial Rend. I mean, the Kyogre's not really putting on too much pressure at all, so uh, it's going to be a Salt Vest Rayquaza, though. It hasn't revealed Protect. Uh, uh, the, the Ray is Ray is such a hard matchup, I think, for like this team generally. Like, when I first did the wheel uh, at the very start of the week, I think, like, highlighting that Rayquaza was going to be, like, one of those Pokemon that's really difficult to deal with, uh, just because of its versatility. Uh, is that a crit? No? Okay, Ice Beam, and yeah, Dragon Ascent, minus one. Be nice if this proc that berry. I don't know if it will. <laughs> Not even a chance. Minus one, we would have taken that 100%, put ourselves back into this game, but... The RNG said, no, good game, Jack. And that ended up with this team this week. So I feel like it's not been the best in results-wise. Six losses, three wins. It could have been better. It could have been way better. But it could have been a lot worse as well. At least we had three wins. I mean, we're taking a real silver lining from this. But I think it's been good for one. Just a learning experience about how the roulette's going to work. And what we're going to do going into next week. So with a brand new team, I feel like it's going to get a lot better performance wise anyway. I think one of the things that we need to really do is like drill down and look for like these real gimmicks. If we're using Pokemon like we're using, it's having the gimmicks and making sure that we've got stuff that worked. I think it was a bit harder this week because we didn't really have a lot of cohesiveness between the Pokemon themselves. I think we obviously got the Z Splash Sogaleo working really nicely and a few times the man team did so much work as well but I think for the kind of memes that we're looking for there wasn't really that redirection there wasn't really that after you user there wasn't really the gravity user that we we needed to take advantage of something else so hopefully when we go forward with this we'll have selections where we have picks and things really kind of like just jump out at us and we can make these memes work and have a little bit more success with it so this has been a really fun week i hope you guys have enjoyed the episodes this week i'm looking forward to starting with a brand new team next week and uh, get your suggestions in right now remember it is over on the community post there on the channel just click on the community icon it will take you over to the post and nominate pokemon for that roulette wheel next week and uh, we'll be getting underway with a brand new team starting on monday so thank you so much for tuning in guys have a great weekend whatever you're up to and we'll be back with more road to rank roulette next week so until then take care and bye bye